Welcome, all your beautiful faces, to the fifth episode of Shrimp World. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. We did die a lot. Hoping to avoid that this episode, but uh, let's not jinx it too hard. We've got several things we need to do this episode. Uh, hopefully, it culminates in Nether 2.0. To start, we need sheep because we need more villagers and they need more beds. And then we can get a cool sword. But before that, we need beds for more villagers, for looting and sharpness probably, that kind of thing. So I am going to go for a little wander through these beautiful snowy spruce forests that I've been living next to and see if I can find a sheep. Not quite sheep, but uh, we have found a pillager outpost and there is wool on it, conveniently. We will have to fight the pillagers. I think uh, I think we can take it. Sneaking over here, stealing their wool. Luckily we have a shield. Oh. Now, we can't kill any with a flag or it will start a raid. And you may remember that we have a large collection of librarians and farmers. And I'd rather not see them have to deal with a raid just yet. Long term, of course, we will do a raid. But at the moment, I think it's for the best that we avoid it. Oh, I hear the shots from behind. Oh, they don't do much damage, but it feels like they should. They really give you a good whack. Brilliant. Okay, that's one lot. Let's sneak over here. I'll loot it as well. Uh, if I have to fast forward any of this footage because it gets boring, I'm sure you understand. I'm not sure if they spawn endlessly either. Who knows? You might. I do not. But I think we'll do fine killing him. That seems to be all the wool we can collect from this. So now let's sneak our way up. Uh, oh, <laughs> pretty unprotected. What have we got? Hmm, nothing particularly great. Potatoes, wheat, some dark oak. Uh, nothing great. The chest is probably more valuable than the loot, but we did get 60 white wool. And as I only needed three, maybe six, I'd say there was a success. But this adventure isn't over. We need bones. We need bones because I would like to come back with a wolf. So let's hunt some skeletons. Okay, and we have found one dog. Perhaps, oh, I thought I saw a second. It just looks like maybe skeletons. All right, where is our one dog? Hello, my friend. Would you like to be a pet? Oh, one bone. He was desperate to come home with me, clearly. So let's sneak back around. If we could find two, that would be even better. Avoid the zombies because uh, they're not even worth killing. All right, now that we've slept, to try and uh, kill off some of these undead that have hunted us, I'm going to give this cute little pupper a yellow color. And I think to name her, we will name her Sadie. We're gonna name her Sadie after my beautiful wife's family dog. And I do believe we may even have a name tag. Oh, multiple name tags. And 
Sadie. Beautiful. So now that we have completed this, although it hardly involves sheep at all, I think we're ready to start finding another villager. With an inventory filled with beds, I must be one of the best movers on the planet because I'm carrying a lot of furniture right now. We're going to scurry on down to our underground villager breeder. Welcome back my fellow Minecraft aficionados. I am fending for my life against iron golems because I have been doing a lot of hard, hard trading. AFK for melons, melons for emeralds, trading up, uh, making them really expensive because I keep killing the villagers. Luckily, I did most of the trades before I started killing the villagers. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise this would probably be impossible. <laughs> guys we are back and I believe the build is finished so they're just doors open them up close them behind you and you can see the hall <laughs> we have some pretty good enchants some better than others I did settle with looting one just because it was taking so long to get anything better we got melons melon pumpkin melon pumpkin sharpness fortune uh this is actually our second fortune villager the fortune one villager or bear as we've named him just it's so much extra effort and now we have to do it with looting i thought i'd just keep the fortune we also had a efficiency five for a minute but i chopped him and he died so <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no more efficiency five, but we still have the efficiency four, and I, I think that's fine. So let's decide what we're going to be putting on this. So just looking at the gear we just made, Frostwalker two boots, mending fortune three pick, and we only have one level. <laughs> so this diamond sword is going to take probably twenty levels. I'm not sure how much smite will take. Ah, oh, not that much. But every one of those level one books has to be added and that's just going to take a while in itself. So I'm going to go grind XP for a while and you guys can enjoy this lovely montage. <laughs> Alright guys, next day for me, same video for you. Uh, I just wanted to show you my 68 levels and if you're thinking that's that's just one level too little let me just kill this guy okay the plan was for it to only take one but it took two 69 levels ladies and gentlemen the sex number uh, Here's everything we've got. Almost the same amount of bones as ours. About 20 different. Uh, plenty of bows. But I didn't think we'd need all that. I may take one blank one. And maybe a stack of arrows. Just because why not. We also got some cool armor. I might take one of these. Just to put on our armor stand. And the rest of our stuff. Because I believe yeah, this is just a bending sword. Is up top. Hopefully it's not night time because we are naked and uh, I only brought two pumpkin pies, which I ate as soon as I turned on the camera. And we're out. And here's the rest of our stuff. So we'll just smash this chest. 
and eat up all that stuff. Perfect. Uh, I have pretty much healed everything up down there as well. Uh, before I went AFK. Those 68 levels are from going AFK overnight, so you can tell that's not a very efficient farm. And we're here. Oop. Okay. Anvil looks fine. Let's see. Oh, and seemingly, the villagers have even stopped hating me. That's pretty good. So let's enchant this sword. Okay guys, we're just climbing out of this uh, hole I made to go mining. I decided I wanted some silk touch deep slate blocks, and as you can see, we've got them. If you're wondering why I have pistons and such, I plan to dig through the roof of the nether, and I decided to bring it with me for no apparent reason. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you one more time. 5 diamonds, 16 gold. I found no lapis, which is actually what I went down there for. Perhaps the first person to look for lapis and find diamond, but can't complain. replaced a bunch of the deep slate with ores like I said I would but I just finally got the chance I think it is looking a lot better I especially like the gold I thought the redstone would have been the best look but yeah I like the gold I haven't done it here however I have finished the sword I have efficiency 5 on the fortune I'm going to try and get to the roof of the nether, however I haven't done it since you could uh, grow a tree and break through, so I am unsure of how it's going to go. I've looked up a few tutorials that I'm going to leave in the description so you can watch someone who knows more than me do it, and hopefully that helps you. Now we're up here, I think we're going to go back to the overworld, collect some stuff, because I would really like to build some sort of farm up here. Alright guys, we're back and I have a pretty interesting idea. First I'd like to show you this guy. Oh, he's a bit aggressive. Uh, I thought I would collect him for no real reason. I thought it'd be funny, but now I can't sleep in that bed. So you might have to move. My idea is an adventure. What I really need is turtles to get turtle eggs so I can make a really good gold farm. So I'm thinking we need to go for a wonder. Another quick thing while we're on this adventure, if I can hit that zombie, uh, I'd like to show you all the seed. So in case you wanted to play in a giant ice biome, now you can. Or if you wanted to, I don't know, see the world through your own eyes you're more than welcome to do that as well I just thought it's episode 5 I might as well put it out I am on an adventure looking for turtle eggs and have found a swamp that is on fire so I'm going to collect lots of vines and maybe some flowers and then continue to look for turtle eggs and just after leaving the flaming swamp I was coming to this little beach and saw turtles, exactly what we came for. So I'm going to breed these guys up as it gets night time, which is probably the most dangerous time to do it. Ooh, ignore the lag spike, these are new chunks. Oh, I'm sorry fellas, I didn't bring enough. I also need kelp, because we haven't actually been to an ocean yet. Oh baby. little baby turtle. Too bad I can't pick it up with a bucket. And fish, who I actually haven't seen yet. I think those are cod and salmon. Get some air. Uh, 
and grab a little bit of kelp. All right, now before we drown, I'm going to go pick up my turtle eggs. Taking his time. We'll take another peek. Oh, oh no, still doing it. Oh, and he's finished. And four eggs. No wonder it took so long. All right, so we'll snatch these up. A slime. We have not met a slime on this world yet. Of course. Because we have just been in the ice. So completely ignoring these spiders. We're going to kill some of these slimes. Leave me be. Oh. Oh. Okay. Starting to get dangerous. I will eat this steak. Not make the mistake of last time. Kill some more of these guys. 17 slime balls. More than enough. This fella can even live today. Oh, wow. Well, I am recording. Oh, in a village. Uh, this place looks awesome, actually. I might zoom in a little bit. Damn. I'll take a screenshot of that. It really looks awesome. I <laughs> really like it. I don't know. I like our snow biome, don't get me wrong. That's definitely home. But, gosh, that is gorgeous. And it's acacia wood to add to my sapling collection. So I'm going to go definitely grab a few of those. Because I really like the grey wood. I'm not sure what we'll use it for. And uh, then I'll visit that village. Alright, I'm just checking the cords to know which way to go home. Because I think we are done. I grabbed a couple of these hay blocks I might just leave the rest you never know we don't need them I'm just taking them out of greed but uh yes this awesome awesome village uh, didn't really have much really just looked awesome I suppose still compared to our village I think it uh, I think it definitely outranks and now that we have everything most importantly our turtle eggs um, let's kill this guy and go home. Ah, nothing like a mid-morning murder. Alright, and now, back home we go. Now that we've entered this very flooded version of a trap villager and a villager to be saved, <laughs> I think we're going to do it. Um, I have so much stuff. The chest didn't really have anything in it. And unfortunately, I do not have a sponge. But I'm sure he won't mind. Throw this in there. Oof, perfect. Okay, and now that this nice fella has been saved, I think we can actually leave. Gosh, I don't know why I struggled so much with the water in here, but I certainly did. I also punched this guy once, but that's life. Now that they are saved to live down here for all eternity, we can continue our way back home. fun and I'm glad we experienced it together now there's something else we must do Alberto so I didn't name him on the walk just in case he uh, he didn't survive but this is Alberto so as for what's in our inventory I have hoppers and chests because we are going to be making a gold farm all right guys some time has passed since the last clip actually a few hours but I built a gold farm and I'd love to show you a few clips of me building it.
tragedy has happened. I'm mining uh, magma blocks because I worked out a bit too late that the platform the pigmen spawn on has to be made out of magma blocks. And I broke my fortune pick. <laughs> we still have redemption, but the fortune pick has died. Luckily, I suppose, it really only takes diamonds because I can get infinite XP and infinite emeralds and I can buy the books. But it still hurts. It still hurts. <laughs> pretty cool. It took a while to get it to work and I didn't realise I'd need to expand the mob falling tube to stop the turtle eggs getting crushed. Uh, I will AFK here between episodes and just see how much gold we can get. Now, I said last episode that we conquer the nether, but after building this gold farm, I think we need an overworld iron farm. It shouldn't be too hard since we have the blocks, villagers, and most importantly, the wolf for beds. I think I'll smash that out with you now, and then we'll end the episode. Okay guys, it took two deaths, but now we have got two awesome farms going. But you know what all these raw materials are going to need? Probably a beacon sounder. Yeah, now we have all this gold and iron, we can make infinite beacons as long as we have wither skulls to fight the wither and get beacons. <laughs> going to be real honest with you. Last episode kind of burnt me down just a little bit. After all those deaths, losing everything, having to, you know, pretty much restart. I guess not restart because we had all these villagers, but uh, I just needed a few days, about an episode, to get me back in the swing of things. Episode 6 will definitely be the one. This sword enters the wither. And uh, maybe not this bow. <laughs> uh, this episode it was pretty fun. I hope it was fun for you. I hope it was insightful. If you play single player, you have two awesome farms you could copy. And you can use the links in the description because you shouldn't copy me at all. <laughs> copy the people I copied because uh, they'll have better videos. It wouldn't be right of me to just make tutorials for other people's builds. So until next time, my fellow shrimp enthusiasts, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. You have died. Your quest to find the Garden of Eden and return it to your village has failed. Mm -hmm.